about Jamaica, baby. They made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators. Fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again. Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video. And I'm going to be checking out Tales of Toronto, the crazy story of 100. 100 was a rapper from Toronto that a while back ago got arrested for some crazy shit, bro. I think there was a shooting in a club or a bar. Allegedly, he caught a couple bodies. There was like a couple... How many people died in that situation? I think it was like three or four. I'm not 100% sure, but 100, man. I, and I actually thought he was pretty dope, man. He had a couple tracks that I reacted to that I like. Yeah, one track I, I still love to this day, My Lesson. I feel like bumping that shit right now because that, that, that track put me in a different zone. I ain't even going to hold you, but... This is crazy how dudes be crashing out over what, though? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But we're going to check out this video. Shout out to this channel. He did another video that I reacted to uh, about Flipper. So it seems like he's going to be covering a lot of, you know, topics that we already know and seen so far in Toronto. But we're getting a fresh perspective, a new take on it. So, yeah, man, without further ado, let's check this joint out. I'm going to try to go out there this year, too, man. Happy New Year supporters, before the video starts, I want to take a quick moment to thank everyone for 7,000 subscribers, the growth is unreal. I got some quality work cooking up so be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video and don't forget to click on that notification bell so Do you that don't for your boy an too, you All of the information provided in the following video is already public, therefore it will not be impeding on past, pending or current cases. So sit back, relax. And as always, enjoy the video. All right, thank you, bro. Tom, 17, All I needed was the popcorn. <laughs> Victim doobie. And good evening. Edmonton's police chief revealed some new developments today in a shooting investigators believe is connected to gang violence. Twenty-two-year-old Muhammad Muhammad. Who's that, Drake? Big goat man. His name was Muhammad Muhammad. He got two first names. Damn. Tell him I'm next up, man. Muhammad, Muhammad. Jake, make way for the drillers, man. I'm coming up. Mohamed Mohamed, a.k.a. 100, is a Toronto drill artist originally from Mississauga, Ontario. His family relocated to Rexdale, specifically Jamestown, a.k.a. The Towns. The Towns is regarded as one of Toronto's most dangerous neighborhood and has claimed an alarming number of innocent victims. Mm. This is unfortunately... Damn, y'all known for claiming the most innocence, man? That's a stat that... I can't even jack, bro. They known for claiming the most innocent. Wow. Amongst some of the worst hoods in the city, especially Driftwood. Yeah. I heard a community leader died yesterday. Yeah, but, but when our community leader died, they, they right. were that love. I, I, I seen I this. Him. I know him. I went to school. He was a good nigga. Yeah, I seen this. Bundog was saying, you know, he was a good dude, and Top Five was saying, I'm smoking on him. Like, bro, why are you smoking on an innocent dude that? Is a community leader, bro. Like that don't make you tough. That makes you look like a dickhead, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not, gonna, not sorry. The city's yeah, That's come on, come on. That's dickhead activity, bro. Bad. It's making the city look bad. Bro. Yeah, I'm smoking Sam. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's just the, it's dickhead activity. I'm smoking up Sam. Sam, well, you were the community leader. You hit my blood. You're in the wrong block. Damn. You're in the wrong block. You should have been a community leader for my block. You got <laughs> packed. You would have been safer in jungle. You would have been safer in jungle. You would have been safer. Hunter would have been beside you. The Towns was also once home to the likes of YG, who has since dropped the block along with 100 and linked up with Driftwood and J It's crazy because he was originally from Rexdale, but then he went to, um, what was it? I don't know where he moved to. Driftwood, right? Apparently. And he calls himself 35, number 35, like KD. And they call KD a snake for switching teams. You know what I'm saying? So YG was switching hoods. You know, I'm just putting two and two together. Jungle, respectively, both of which are rival hoods. As a result, and many my Rich blue Dale tea. rappers called and them my out, blue tea. labeling them block hoppers.
Lil Weasel. I roll cooked beef on a beef fit fact. And never touched me. But I was just wondering why the map ops are so mad. I'm like, oh, I got a new ice on the No, 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 no. But they capped. They said they said they shot you. They said they ran flip out the club. Those guys been capping. Yo, those guys been capping. That said my right hand man shot you. Prior to rapping, Honeyd was a decent baller, standing at 6 feet 1 inch. He would post consistent workout videos on his Instagram which displayed his impressive shooting ability. He was a shooter on and off the court. Well, man, you should have stuck to basketball, bro. And it's funny because I've seen something where a lot of these rappers from Toronto were ballers. They used to play together. I think Casper was a baller. He played with Smoke Dog, Pressa, and they all chose to go the rap route. They could have, if they was really nice and bold, they should have stuck with that, man. Stop playing with them! That's where the real Honey money is at. He's also the cousin of Flippa and Century GGG. Oh, they cousins. Both of which are currently locked up for murder in three separate cases. Coming from Damn. a notoriously rough neighborhood and with a bloodline full of real deal steppers, it wouldn't take long for Hunted to be introduced to the cold streets of Toronto. 631 now, and Edmonton police are investigating a deadly shooting. It happened around 11 o'clock last night in a northeast neighborhood. Police say there were several others on scene who knew the victim, but they were not being cooperative. And the man that was shot to death last night has been on police radar. There's no doubt that this is a target attack. Uh, this is a, a group of individuals involved in uh, criminal activities, and uh, they are definitely on the police radar. This is the chilling sound of rapid gunfire erupting and it was mm. captured on this dash cam video. After a short pause, another round of bullets with up to 19 shots fired. The target, a man in a parked vehicle. Global News has learned the victim is 27-year-old Abdi Latif Hirsi. A woman claiming to be a sister says he was recently laid off from his job. Police stress the man is known to them. Mm. Who's that? Abdi Hiri, aka Sluggy, is a known dealer reigning from Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton Sluggy? Oh, this the dude that uh top five be dissing Edmonton all the police time. Police indicated Hersey has been at odds with what they described as a criminal organization expanding throughout several provinces. Many have suspected the organization to be 100 and the GGs, and social media posts made by the crew since Sluggy's death definitely didn't help their case. Play with, you know what I mean? When I'm in the E, I'm off that sluggy. <laughs> what do you guys know about when I'm in the E, I'm off that sluggy? Smoking on that sluggy, my nigga. I caught that nigga slipping, shot him in the back. And when I'm in the staff, I'm off that clutch pack. And when I'm in the E, I'm off that sluggy. Movie. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, that track was hard. It would only take Edmonton police one month to nab for suspects in connection to the death of Sluggy. During preliminary hearings, Edmonton police indicated that an mm. abundant amount of video surveillance in a number of locations and good police work led to their arrest. They then announced two of the four suspects were 100 and Century GGG. CCTV evidence provided during the hearing clearly portrayed Hunted as the getaway driver while Century was one of the two shooters. Further evidence showed one of the shooters emptying their clip into Sluggy, returning to the getaway vehicle, reloading, running back to the body of Sluggy, and emptying another clip into him. Damn. Investigators suspect this was Century. Hunted then drove the crew to a condo in downtown Edmonton, where the other two co-accused crashed for the night. Hunted and Century then fled to Fort McMurray, Alberta the next day, where they were tracked down and caught using advanced facial recognition technology. They got caught the next day. They took a flight and everything, bro. Century's apartment was also raided, and found in the ceiling was a brick of cocaine and two handguns, while on the floor of one of the rooms were the clothes 100 was wearing during the shooting. Yo, yo, a lot I gotta of, get rid of that, bro. I tell him all, I pop out at that. I pop out at that cut. DOA that. They came out on bail. Yo, where's Big Peaks? Yo, yo that's Big overkill. Peaks. That's overkill. Yo, yo, all the ops get overkilled, my nigga. All of them. So you get released on bail, but then you want to go on live social media and incriminate yourself even more? You're not helping your case, brother. All the ops get overkilled. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, this song right here, I love this song, bro. This is a banger. This is a banger right here. I ain't gonna hold you this song right here. Oh. 
I touch your dojo, same day, bare face, sorry, judge, I never, never learned learn my, my lesson. lesson. A few months after bailing out of jail, one hundred stepped foot into the rising Toronto drill scene along with his cousins Flippa mm. and Century. He released his debut track, My Lesson, which did impressive numbers upon release. However, what really caught the attention of the fans was a diss track targeting rival block, Regent Park. The song titled FTO, an acronym for mm. F the Ops, Another banger. was leaked not too long after the release of his debut track and it shipped the entire underground scene with its mm. disrespectful lyrics and crude visuals. Wait, you know what that mean? I'm H-E-K. They left Smokey on the sidewalk, was laughing, I seen his brains. A lot of days I buy the robber in a stoly And again, guys, just because I like a certain song and they dissing people in it, that don't mean I hate the people that they're dissing in the song. You feel me? I just like the song because it sounds good. Feel me? If the other side makes a song that's a banger and they dissing them, I'm gonna like it too. All right, that's what people gotta realize, man. We don't choose sides over here. A lot of you fans be doing that, and I and I tell y'all, that's dickhead activity, bro. Y'all gotta be so invested in these guys' lives. These rappers don't give a fuck about you. They don't really care about you. So don't be going so hard for these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to the music, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Fans be doing too much. Huh. Many have suggested Hunted may have taken it too far, but that was nothing compared to what he would do next. Soon after the release of FTO, Hunted along with Driftwood rappers YG and J Meat would take a friendly oh, trip yeah, I remember down this to Regent too. Park and call out the ops, and the entire ordeal would be captured on an Instagram live stream. Regent and Driftwood have been at odds since Driftwood rapper 21 Neat killed Regent Park rapper Smoke Dog back in 2018. And his manager? Everybody always forgets the manager, like RP to him too. Since then, artists from both blocks have been at each other's necks in a violent feud. Oh, uh, day, man. We're from Driftwood. We're not from Regent Park, man. Get out of here. We'll pack you. <laughs> we'll pack you. And good evening. Edmonton's police chief revealed some new developments. We'll pack you like some luggage. Developments today in a shooting investigators believe is connected to gang violence. Tonight, two men face first degree murder charges. Oh Matt Woodman joining us. say that approximately 70 rounds were fired into a crowd, and police have revealed for the first time that those who were shot were innocent bystanders. Superintendent Shane Perka describes this as one of the worst mass shootings in Edmonton Damn. history. One suspect is still at large. This Blood was bath. a mass shooting, and this could have easily been 10 or 15 people killed in this. You know what? Maybe You know what I was thinking about that can probably, like, stop some of these guys from wilding out and shooting? Is like, all right, if you want to start shooting in public places, it don't matter if you're only shooting at one person. They could make that a, a terroristic charge. Like, like they said this was a mass shooting because multiple people got hit. But if you're shooting outside in the streets and you can endanger other people's lives, then to me, that's like terroristic activity. You know, if they got tougher with them laws, dudes would be like second guessing whether they really want to pull that trigger. Incident. It was, it was I don't think it'll ever happen, but I'm just saying like there's happened. ways. March 12th, 2022. One of Edmonton's worst mass shootings in recent years has just taken place. Edmonton police said officers were dispatched to her tail lounge around 2.45 a.m. after reports that multiple shots were fired. Upon arrival, officers witnessed a horrific scene. You know, it'd be fire, oh, well, not, fi well, not fire, but crazy. If they made it where it's like every bullet you shoot, that's like 10 years. So if you shoot a bullet, that's 10 years. If you shoot two bullets, that'll make dudes really like, you know? Around 60 to 70 bullet cases. I'm just saying, man, let's just fight it out. We don't got to shoot people all the victims. time. Edmonton police reported that all seven people were innocent bystanders, including 28 year old and Bert George, who later died in hospital. How many people? Seven? With seven injured victims. Edmonton mm. police reported that all seven people were innocent bystanders, including 28 year old and Bert George, who later died in hospital. Soon Rest after the horrific incident, Air One, Edmonton Police's highly advanced helicopter, was in the area as the incident was happening and were able to chase one of the two suspect vehicles. During the chase, Air One reported the suspects began discarding firearms out the passenger window, which were later recovered by K-9s. After at least one failed attempt at making the car stop, police eventually stopped the vehicle and the people inside tried to run away, 
but in the end, they were caught. Edmonton police then announced 22-year-old Mohammed Mohammed, aka 100, was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and multiple firearms offenses, while Saad Osman, aka Styles, was placed fifth on Canada's most wanted list, and on top of that, they added a 50k reward. Mm. Not much is known about Styles. But rumors have swirled that he is possibly another one of 100's cousins, and judging by their social media posts, this may Big be true. Shit. Young goat shit. Big fucking goat. Yo, money boy. I put this fucking bag on these niggas' life, eh? <laughs> these little fucking boys. These little fucking boys. Yo, yo, you don't, yo, you 100, you don't know, fam. We just gotta, we gotta shit on the ops, huh? Yeah, let me screenshot that what I bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bow. Screenshot that. Yo, yo, you guys go send this to fake watch busters. Send this to them, man. We don't yo. do the fake things. Man. Damn, 100 got two first degree murder charges. I'm so GG. And I'm yeah, with he's done. Please don't approach me. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta do a better job of ending your videos. At least provide some type of commentary towards the end, like to close it out, but... Another good video, man. Shout out to this channel again. Um, it's crazy that he got two murder charges and he was out on bail from the other shit, the other the other murder of the sluggy kid. Allegedly, he was the driver. So, man, one hundred, man. I actually thought he was a good art. Well, I thought he was a good artist, bro. Like I liked his song. So, you know, he definitely, like I said in another video, these guys really don't be caring about music, man. To them, it's just a part of the game like they stuck in this lifestyle they want to do this shit they at some point i just think these guys enjoy this shit you know it's not dudes that are victims of their circumstances they're not products of their environment some of these guys have issues in their head and their brain they're not wrapped too tight and they enjoy killing people and living this life bro you know because if you have an opportunity to, to get out the legal way make some money and live a good life and you choose not to do it then that just shows me that you probably just you don't care and you crazy that's what it is but yeah i look forward to seeing the next video that he does man if you guys enjoyed this reaction let me know in the comments hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it's your boy dollars road to 50k this year man i'm off this before my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky Treat a nigga right, big dreamin' all my life Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly Taking off on these niggas, I retire The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high